हाय एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मोशन एवरी कॉलेज टुडे इस वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मैरी टाइम यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया बट बिफोर टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट आई नीड टू टेल यू दैट देर आर टू यूनियन फॉर सी फेयर वर्किंग राइट नाउ वन इज फॉर ऑफिसर्स एंड अदर इज फॉर रेटिंग सो फॉर रेटिंग इज इट इज नूसी विच इज नेशनल यूनियन ऑफ सी फेयर ऑफ इंडिया विच वॉज मेड इन एटीन इसका भी हेड ऑफिस मुंबई में It works on rating and petty officers who are working on foreign going vessels, Indian offshore vessels, Indian ships, crews, but Indian seafarers. Similarly, if you are an Indian officer or an engineer in merchant navy who is sailing on foreign going ships or Indian ships or offshore vessels, you become a part of MUI. This is Maritime Union of India, which was made in 1939. Head offices in Mumbai. They have got the two funds, separate funds or trust. I would say one is welfare fund, which is for Indian flag vessels. So all those shipping companies like uh, SCI, Great Eastern, they have got Indian flag vessels. So the Indian officers in their company become a part of welfare fund. And like me, I am sailing in the Anglo Indian right now. It's a foreign flagship company. So I, if I join MUI, I become a part of welfare trust. so we will be talking about welfare fund and welfare trust later on but as an officer as an engineer you need to you should be a part of mui like i am a part of mui for the last so many years but for me uh, earlier it was a compulsion by my company that you have to be a part of this at that time i did not understand its benefits but today i feel thankful that at that time they told us that you have to become a part of mui and today i realize that it was one of the best decisions and that is why when i am convinced i am making this video so let me show you some of the benefits so why union is required for cfa that should be the first question so first is grievance handling what if you are on ship your company is not paying you money what if you are there on another port and the company has left you in dark or if we don't know what to do with you we don't have money to send you back what will you do right so if any problem is there if you are an officer you can call mui sir i am a member of your respected union and please help me out they have got links as a seafarer if i am alone i can call two of my friends three of my friends but if i am a part of a union they have got the links with shipping companies with dd shipping with indian administration central government as well they will try to help us out salary issues by company sign on sign off problems company is not signing off it's been 12 months 11 months poor shipping companies do that and we need to be very careful wrong contract has been cheating on the contract the salary was written $5000 and there they are paying you on ship is $3000 whom to contact mui ship has been detained in a foreign port company is working but you need some other help maybe from indian embassy whom to contact mui officer like mt hari who then see fares have been jailed right now which is unfortunately very bad so right now i hope mui is working around the clock trying to help the sea fares sea fares somewhere suppose a sea fares has died now he has died but his wife wants to claim his insurance and the company is not willing to pay whom can you contact mui cdc related issues death claims related issues legal assistance inside outside of india suppose a master has been jailed with no fault of his then contact mui suppose a master coc license has been cancelled then at least legal assistance can be provided by mui so that is it medical benefits are there which i am going to discuss later for me my wife my children as well not for parents or siblings support of family is there other many benefits so let us discuss that but before that let us talk about mui membership the initial one time fee is 2300 rupees after that every year you have to pay 1800 rupees apart from that every year you have to pay 200 rupees for for the coc protection fees so membership will have what is coc protection fees ki tomorrow you are on ship some thing unfortunate happens and due to something or the other if your coc is cancelled by the dg shipping or something by dg shipping then at least they can provide you legal assistance over here so this is it so now let us talk about medical benefits and the eligibility criteria if you want to fit in the mui category that is for every one month you sail on ship when you sign up for the next 10 days you can avail all the medical benefits of mui say you have sailed on ship for 6 months for the next 2 months you are covered by mui so what after two months take other separate medical insurance as well take other term insurance as well right but mui covers you for the next two months 
So if you have sailed for six months, but then again, I have seen a lot of cases where and your MU has been very very considerable, and they have paid people even if they were outside the scenario as well. But that depends on their their decision, their discretion, not on mine. Apart from that, parents and siblings are not covered in the scheme. Apart from that, suppose what if you are giving your class four exams, class two exams, then or class one exams, then in that case, suppose you have sailed for six months. For the next sixty days, you are covered. Apart from that, they give you ten months extra as well because you are giving your exams. So since you are working on the CPR thing is itself, so they will cover you. All your medicals will be covered for the next ten months as well. So thing is, what all medicals are covered? General medicine treatment up to eight thousand rupees a year. Maternity, twin delivery, miscarriage, abortion up to fifty thousand rupees. Like I just share my ex- example or my many of my friends' example. Who were a part of MUI? So when the child was born, so they claimed the maternity thing from their from the MUI, and a few of them had uh, C-section as well. So up to fifty thousand was refunded by MUI immediately without no questions or just the bills. That's it. Apart from prolonged illness or disease, blood pressure, diabetes, heart ailment is there. That is also covered, but there is certain cost. A fixed cost is covered over there. Dental extraction of teeth, surgical operation, feeling. Gum treatment, etc., up to ten thousand rupees a year is covered over it. This is not filling; this is filling actually. Sorry for the wrong. So even teeth filling is covered. Gum treatment is covered over it. Medical benefits again covered up. Day care treatment like eye cataract. A day care means uh, in a day when you are read from the hospital. Say you are admitted for twenty four hours. So that is a day care treatment. Then that is up to thirty five thousand rupees per year. You are covered. Major surgical treatment like. Close heart, open heart surgery, angioplasty, heart valve replacement, kidney transplant, neuro surgery, orthopedic surgery, blood cancer treatment up to five lakh rupees you are covered. Medical benefits not covered. Periodic medical checkups not considered. Treatment for infertility, infertility is not covered. Vision tests, laser eye corrections, all these things like contact lenses, spectacles are not covered in the medical benefits of MUI. Medical benefits again not covered or or if you want to put braces on your teeth not covered bridge processes root canal treatment is not covered vaccination cosmetic surgery karwane ka log ko is not covered uh, hair transplant is not covered nervous breakdown anxiety neurosis these are not covered if you are on ventilator that is not covered unfortunately kisi ka aisa hona nahi chahiye but that is not covered other facilities they have got their own guest houses in uh, kolkata Raichak, Mumbai, Mein, Nalavna, in Dehra, near Dehra, Dhun, in Masuri. This is for the foreign flagships people at just five hundred rupees a day. These are the guest houses that are available. If you are from Indian flag vessels, they have got their uh, guest houses in Mahabaleshwar, Anand, Mahabaleshwar, Mathuran, and Balsad. So, so this is me who is talking to Captain Tushar Pradhan, who is the General Secretary of MI out here. Yes. A few questions still remain. If I have got a medical insurance, do I need MUI? Yes, you have got medical insurance. Fine, but sometimes medical insurance do not cover a lot of stuffs or things go wrong. MUI is there. But yes, another thing, medical insurance covers the medicals. What about jail time? What about legal assistance? What about wrong contract, cheating happening out there? Ah, uh, eighteen hundred rupees a year means one fifty rupees a month. इतना तो यार हम लोग दोसा मैगी पिज्जा खाने में कर देते हैं सो इट डजेंट मैटर गाइज एंड बींग अ पार्ट एंड बींग बिलीविंग इन इट दैट इज वाई मेकिंग दिस वीडियो सो आई बिलीव एवरी सी फेयर शुड बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस एंड वाई आई मेकिंग दिस वीडियो यू शुड ऑल्सो बी एबल टू रीड बेनिफिट हाउ सपोज इवन इफ यूर पेइंग एट हंड्रेड रुपीज अयर यू पे फॉर टेन ईयर्स ट्वेंटी ईयर्स इट थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड रुपीज थर्टी ईयर्स इज फिफ्टी फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज राइट बट वंस यू Uh, you, your wife bears a child. Fifty thousand rupees immediately comes out there, right? So the cost is covered in the medical. Rest everything is free out there, guys. So please, this video was made just to make you aware of MUI's benefits and all the things that it provides. And as a seafarer, I believe all of us needs to become a member together. Thank you very much, Jamatan.